Okay, it's time. Now what I did is I went through and I re-ran these caves because I wanted to get the skins that I lost. I killed another alpha wyvern to get the gloves. Yeah, I guess I'll show those real quick. So I got my alpha wyvern gloves back. The only thing I don't have is the helmet skin that I had when I died in that cave. But we have all of our artifacts and we have a second copy of each artifact. And that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to grab the extra. Oh, come on. All right. So I'm grabbing these. And then after that, I'm going to be going to grab the two talons for each wyvern. The rexes are ready. That took forever. It was it was ridiculous. I killed a lot more death worms. I I killed oh it's gonna rain. That's that's the rain sound. Oh I did a little bit of redesign in the base. Let let's let's just uh let's take a look at the redesign a little bit before we go. My Jerboa problem persists. You can see that I no longer have them up there. I have them all over here in a pen. Because I, I couldn't fly up there and drop off wild ones. And I should have um, some wild ones over here, yeah. A whole bunch of wild ones just moseying around. And then all my tamed ones. I even dropped a Lystrosaur in here. This upper part now is just an open platform to enjoy that. I thought I'll put some trophies up here too because I got another Alpha Wyvern head. I took out the extension on the ramps here and built the whole floor out there. But what I'm really proud of, what I think is really cool, is my new dock setup. We will not have to swim anywhere to get to the obelisk. So we'll go up to the top first. So I have this dual staircase. The staircase goes down here, goes down here. I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of this one because it seems a little copious now that I got that one. But it looks, sort of looks cool from a distance anyway. I go all the way up to my top level here. Moving down from here. I left these open because they're to my ladders downstairs. But yeah, I can run down here. I had a bit of a, a call interruption there. But anyway, the, uh, <clears throat> the stairs go all the way over here, and we can walk right down the steps to the obelisk. I leveled these guys up really fast, and so they need a lot of health. I wonder if he can take the stairs. <laughs> I can. Oh, that's cool. Because we're not going to take him with us. Oh, I'm going to miss this base. next map being aberration I I have to say I am not not looking forward to aberration I've never been a fan of aberration I love some of the dinos though um, you think I have a obsession with gerboas right now you just wait till I get that little mini goat thing uh, it's not a feather feather light it's something else um, but oh my god that that thing I I, I will raise an army of those little guys I think it's time. I think it's time. This battle's got to happen. I'm a little nervous. I, I can't lie. I've never soloed this boss. I've played this boss plenty of times. Just usually with an army of people on Rexes. But that's all we ever used was Rexes. I should have everything I need down here. I can probably cut back here once I get all the Rexes in the circle. Alright, a final perimeter check here. Make sure our army of Smurfs is ready to go. There's my little fishing chair over there. 
We got water, we have food, we have our Rexes all in the circle. Oh boy, oh boy. Manticore, here we come. All right, uh, I'm picking Rex 5 as my, uh, my Rex of choice, only because he has just a touch more in max health and melee than the others. If I remember correct, the manticore is going to fly around for a bit. When it lands, I don't want to attack it immediately. I want to wait just a second before I attack it, or it'll fly off. All right, jibber jabbering. There he be. Come on, boys. Showing up. I think the death worms are the first line. After you get the mana core down really good in health, then it's going to turn into uh, rock elements. Halfway. I might have been nervous for nothing. We have some great Rexes here. Yeah, keep flying low. Keep getting bites in on you. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that might hurt. Not like me. Gotta get over here with the group. Oh, he's landed. Come on. You got this, Dinos. Oh yeah. All right, rock elementals are about to be showing up here. Unless, unless we take them out right now, but I doubt it. He always flies away, right? But he's got a sliver. Yeah. All right, now the rock golems are gonna pop up. Oh crap! And I am trapped in the. At least we got one Rex over there taking care of business. Alright, so the Rex is against the Rock Elemental. Not the, uh, not the greatest matchup. I should definitely have had health potions for those. But my health is doing good. My Rex is still doing great. And the Mandacore is landing. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah! Yeah! Victory! Woo! I'm gonna have to put a low pass on this audio track because it's way too loud. Manticore! Ah! <laughs> we didn't lose any Rexes. Oh! 
Oh, that makes me want to do the higher level now. That really makes me want to do the the beta. At least the beta. Man, sweet. Let's see if we can get a look, a look at this thing before we exit out. Oh, look at that guy. Wow. Really, dude? Come on. We're having a moment here. Wow. Scorpion tail. Dragon wings. That is awesome. Super awesome. Any dinos asleep? I don't see any of them are, that are asleep. Alright. Well, it, that's the Manticore battle. I got Manticore boot skin. Awesome. I got the shield. Of course, I got the trophy and the flag. Alright. Well, that was a success. That was a good time. We nailed it. We did it. Put that flag up in the artifact room. Proudly display it. Oh, I don't know. If I had more subscribers, I would do a poll to say, you know, hey, do we do the Gamma and Alpha battles first to spend some more time on Scorched, or do just do we go to Aberration and get going there? Um, aberration, I'm not going to be able to fly through that like I did here. I, I can already tell you that. Uh, it's one of my weakest maps. It's one of the maps I, I know the least. I, I've got the basics down, but I've never spent much time up on the surface. I know how to get to the the boss battle on that one, but still, it's, it's not a very confident map for me, so we'll have to... We'll have to see. And I need five poison talons and <clears throat> three fire talons just to do the beta. So I think... I think aberration. I think it's aberration time. So we can always come back here. We can always do those. I've talked about going back to the island and doing the higher level boss battles as well. Oh, I, I'm, I'm insanely happy that that went very well. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do here before I go, and I am, I'm drawing a blank. I, I do eventually want to pick a map to get all of the Explorer notes on. And if I were to pick a map, it would probably be this one. This one, I've done really well with the Explorer notes so far. Um, let me get to them. Yeah, so, the Helena Walker, I got a lot of those. Barely have any left. Rockwell, got a good chunk. Uh, Raya, I've got a good chunk. And Dakia. So, but I think I'm about halfway with these. And I would like to 100% on one map with the Explorer notes. And then just do a, you know, show each of the Explorer notes. And maybe I can even find some lore stuff and just do a cool special on the Explorer notes. Now, if I'm going to go to Aberration, there's another thing that I have to realize is I can't fly. No happy thoughts are going to allow me to fly on Aberration. So the only option I have is to take uh, Strong Rex. Of course, I really want to take Rex 5, but I guess I'm going to take whoever I freeze. It looks like it's going to be 10. 15, okay. I want at least a strong Rex as a bodyguard so I can build up the base and get that going. After that, the next big thing on Aberration is going to be getting the wingsuit. 
I miss the wingsuit very much. I got addicted to using it. On a base like this, I would never use the stairs. I would just leap off and fly down with my wingsuit. So I've got to get used to that. Um, there, get my wingsuit back. There's uh, climbing picks that I can get there, which are going to be awesome. There's um, rip lines that you can launch. And I'll probably build my base in the easy location. Maybe I'll build it in this one spot where I saw before. It's sort of like the cliff edge looking down to the blue and red zones in Aberration. Ooh, I'll, I'll, I'll see. Uh, I'll figure out exactly what I want to do there. With the Rex as a bodyguard, I should be pretty safe. I will need to get a glow pet, so I'll get a bulldog. That'd be one of the first things, too. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this is stuff I'll cover once I get over there, but... It was a success. Ooh, this is another thing I gotta make sure I remember, is that I cannot take... If, if I... On, on the other servers, if I was on a public server, I could just leave everything in my inventory. Here you cannot. If I jump over to the other place, I'm going to drop everything in my inventory. And the way you can get around that is you can actually upload the stuff out of your inventory. So I can take everything off. This is a total pain, but I'm going to take off all this stuff. Oh. And uh, that's something else I didn't mention is I got my stuff back because when I went to the island to get the the boss rexes, I forgot I had my bag with all my previous stuff was still there. So I was able to actually go get all of my goodies, which is beyond awesome. I really don't need the meat, but I'll take it anyway. You know what? Yum, 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 yum. You go there with no food. Alright, so we go to Arc Data. And you should just be able to hold the button down on these and upload them. Now, do I need the desert armor on Aberration? Absolutely not. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can't even remember what armor I do use. But this is good armor, and it's a good start. Hey, my armor, my tools, all that is there. And I'm a dummy, forgot the Rex. Alright, I'm gonna get the Rex, and then we're gonna upload. And I will end this once we wake up in Aberration, sort of like I did on uh, Scorched Earth. Or, uh, the island, when we ascended. Okay. So we got our boss Rex in tow now. We've got all of our stuff uploaded. We are ready to transfer over. I do want to make one more note before we leave this map though. As I had said that we are going to go from here to Extinction and then after Extinction to Valguero. But I'd also said in another uh, video that I was only going to do the official servers. Well. I just want to play Valguero. It looks really cool, and and yeah. So I've made the decision. I'm going to include Valguero as one of my maps. It'll be the only unofficial map that I that I do. Okay, spawning in Fertile Lake Three, easy. I know exactly where I'm at. Wow. And I think that is where I'm going to build the base. That ledge up there, you can build on it. It's got natural protection from predators. You, the, the only thing that you don't have that's nice and easily accessible is uh, water. But I notice how many times I really use uh, the tap in my base. 
and I can always put the cooking pot down in like a like a lower level base and connect the two of them later. I think that'd be cool. So I'm going to be walking around. You know, I'm going to go through the south end. Because what I want to find, I want to find a drop. Because if I can get to a drop, then I can get my Rex. And we're off to a good start. These um, are gas veins. They will give you congealed gas balls. Which are pretty awesome for making different things. You're going to need that to make the radiation suit. Which is one of the first engrams I'm unlocking too. And if you wonder why I'm gathering so many berries, it is so if I do find a glow pet on the way, a bulldog, or I think the only thing I can get down here are bulldogs. What I'm looking out for and I do not want to run into right now are the ravagers, those giant crabs. There's a lot of things in here that can really mess me up. I haven't played a whole heck of a lot on this map. Oh, there's a drop right there. Salvation. I don't even care if this hurts. Oh, ooh, ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No! I can't upload the survivor or download my crap. Why? I know on the other servers, on official I used to upload from those all the time. It better not be one of those things I can only upload myself from the obelisks. If you don't know, the obelisks are up on the surface. And it's pretty much impossible to get up there and get to the obelisk without a rock drake. I might have to truly battle here. I think the stuff I uploaded though stays good for... Oh gosh, uh, I forgot about the hallucinating mushrooms. Guess I'm going to crap myself to death here for a second. Jesus, Mother Mary and Joseph, you piss yourself. Oh yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to have to do a little bit of homework. I will see what I can figure out here. I used to build like my temp base right down in this area. Because it had good access to a ramp that got me up and out of the way of stuff. I had a lot of trees to be able to build with wood. And I was able to get a good start here. So I think I'm going to do the same again. Really sucks I don't have my tools. And I swear if I lose those armors or those weapon skins, I'm going to be so mad. It is not that big of a deal. I went through and did all the three of those caves, like, all within one run. I ran the thyla to all of them, too. That was pretty cool. I just ran through with the thyla and went to all the caves. I didn't even bother flying and carrying it. Look, in this back corner here is sort of where I like to start. Not much really spawns around here. You do have the water threats, but if you build a good wall up around you... You don't have to worry about too much with that. So this is where I think I'm going to get started, but I think that is the end of the episode. Welcome to Aberration, everyone. We killed it with the mana core, and now we're probably going to get killed here. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do good. Maybe I'll do good. I'm just, I'm scared. All right. Everyone take care. I'm going to get a small base started here, so at least we have a, a, a beginning I don't think you need to see me punch a bunch of trees and make basic tools again. And uh, maybe I'm going to do some Google uh, searching to see what I can find when it comes to the uploading and downloading on Aberration Single Player. Alright everybody, have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.